future perfect continuous tense, unraveling the threads of time. Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today, we are diving into a fascinating aspect of the English language, the future perfect continuous tense. Specifically, we're going to talk about how to use this tense to emphasize the duration of an action. Get ready for an exciting grammar journey. Let's start with a quick review. The future perfect continuous tense is used to describe an action that will start in the future, continue for a while, and then end at a specified point in the future. The formula is, will have been plus verb, ing form. For instance, by next year, I will have been studying English for five years. Now that we have the basic understanding, let's dive deeper. When we want to put emphasis on the length or duration of an action, we use the future perfect continuous tense. This is especially useful when we want to highlight how long something will have been happening once a certain future moment is reached. For example, imagine it's June now and you plan to stay in Paris until August. You could say, by the time I leave in August, I will have been living in Paris for two months. It's equally important to know common mistakes so you can avoid them. One common mistake is using the simple future tense instead of the future perfect continuous when emphasizing the duration of an action. For instance, instead of saying, I will live in Paris for two months, which suggests a future plan, you should say, I will have been living in Paris for two months, to emphasize the duration. Well, that's it for today's lesson. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you use the future perfect continuous tense to emphasize the duration of actions, the more naturally it will come to you. Keep practicing and you'll master it in no time. I hope this video has been helpful and enlightening. See you in our next lesson.